Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video and I would also like to say from the Just Lance home, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Um, real quick before I forget his name, have a new subscriber. Um, if I mess up your name, I am truly sorry. Omar Cuffison, Omar Cuffison Brown. Um, I probably screwed up your first name. I apologize. I use voiceover. That's how it pronounces it. Um, anyways, so we're going to be shaving with something I got for Christmas. It's not quite Christmas yet here. I'm going to wait till Christmas Day and post the video. So it was an early Christmas gift. And it is a razor that was is truly a true unicorn for me. I picked it up on Razor and Porn for 110 bucks. It was revamped. And it is this. The 1941 Gillette Ranger Tech. Um, if you're not familiar with this razor, they made them in 1941 prepping for the... Christmas holiday and um, World War One happened so they went ahead was no longer able to use brass for all their razors and the next Ranger Tech that came out was 1946 and then they no longer made them the way you can tell the difference between a Ranger Tech and or between a 46 Ranger Tech and a 41 Ranger Tech is the 41 Ranger Tech does not have a serial number the 46 does but um yeah great razor it was the 46 was there the other day i don't know if it still is um but 110 bucks that ain't bad anyways the brush i'm gonna be using which is soaking right here let me go ahead and grab it it's a vintage brush but it comes from the uk second guys let's set that right there and is this one a vintage Rooney BB 24 best badger brush not sure what the knot size is it definitely looks like probably a 22 23 maybe I don't know kind of a small knot but it is a really good brush and as you can see it has this butterscotch handle these brushes were made for um, Brooks Brothers there in the UK and um, I ended up picking it on up on Etsy for like 50 something bucks off a of vintage blade the soap is one I received from Dennis I already had one but it was almost gone so I passed that on to my brother and I kept the new one I got from Dennis, which is this Sterling's Executive Man. The scent is based off of Creed Aventus. Oh, beautiful scent, beautiful scent. And I'll be whipping that up here in my black and silver lather bowl I got from my brother. It's been blooming. So let's go ahead real quick before we start lathering. Let's throw a little bit of water on my face. Use the bloom water and then I'll cut away, lather it up. And then we'll go ahead or you know lather it up in the bowl then we'll come back and start lathering but before i do that there's glue more as you can see the goatee's gone i'm growing it back i had a bit of a whoopsie do um took off way too much on one side so I said, screw it. I shaved it down. It'll grow back. Anyways, I'll see you guys here after I lather the soap up in the bowl. Or after I whip up a lather. See you in a minute. Nice thick lather. Got it whipped up. Rinse my hands. This is a nice brush. Um, I really like the handle. 
Feels good in hand. I prefer a little bit larger handle on my brushes, but it works. In case you've never used sterling soaps, great price. Very, very good soaps. Um, they got lanolin, shea butter, tallow. So if you're a vegan, yeah, this one's probably not for you. But if you don't mind whether you use a tallow soap or not, it's great, great soap. Anyway, so how are you all doing on this Christmas Day 2021? Uh, Christmas, Christmas Day 2020 did not seem that long ago. So, yeah, time flies. Very, very quickly it seems like sometimes. All right, now, I've never used a Ranger Tech, so I'm looking very forward to this. Nice. Pretty mild. We've got about, mm, I don't know, four days, five days, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty mild. It's very, very tech-like. But... I don't mind. Uh, more mild razor. Now, I've never, ever, to my knowledge, used a replayed it Gillette or a replayed it razor. So, but yeah, it's taking it off. Taking off a lot, actually. The right side. Major, major feedback. It 
said in the description, great for a beginner. Oh, wow. Hang on, guys. I think I got a little more than four days growth, actually. Probably closer to seven. <laughs> But had a big clump of hair stuck right underneath the blade. But did you let Wilkie bullet blade, slow blade? Is. Taking it down. it out real quick. We'll rinse out. Damn it. There it went. Blade popped out, dang it. There we go. So my boy Michael had an absolute blast doing the last video with me. Um, I imagine we're going to see him in more videos to come. Anyways, let me rinse off here, or wipe off here. The sterling smells really, really good. Yeah, I didn't know until I saw an Anthony Esposito video where he was sitting there, he packed up a box of stuff. Ooh, I missed a little spot right there. I still got a lot of residual slickness on my face. There we go. Um, and he was packing up soaps. And he was going to go ahead and end up saying, hey, basically the first one to PM me saying that they want them. They get them. And, uh, he had, uh, actual soaps by, by Creed. It's like, wow, Creed actually makes shaving soaps. But he was wanting a couple hundred bucks for all the soaps, which wasn't a bad deal. It's just more than what I had to, what I could afford at the time. And let's see, he had Aventus, Sharp Dress Man, um, not Sharp Dress Man, Green Irish Tweed, and some other soaps, some other good quality soaps. I think he had some MDC in there, Martin DeCondre. Yeah, this brush is more of a paint on brush. Not a major face lather. Anyways, I hope y'all have gotten some good Christmas gifts. Hope y'all got what your little little hearts of desire. Whether it's shave gear, tools. I like tools. Um, oh wow. Hang on guys. I completely spaced my shave ridge. Heineken. Mm. That's good. Okay. Crunch. 
across the green. Really good on the across the grain, especially with the majority of that growth down. Can't complain about that. There we go. And do the up here. Ooh. been getting some pretty pretty chilly mornings here all right wipe off magic's gone guys magic's completely gone my son Michael who is seven Came up to me and his mom here not long ago. And he's all, I know Santa Claus ain't real. It was like, oh. It was like, no, he's real. No, he's not real. I know. You guys are the Santa Claus. And so he's like, yeah. Yeah, bud. You're right. So... Which at least the nice thing is if he says, oh, that's really expensive. <laughs> so. Do a paint over. Only problem with that Rooney brush is handles a little. It's pretty darn short compared to quite a few of my other brushes. So you get soap on handle quite a bit. But yeah, it was what it is. I always wanted a Rooney brush and against the grain. And when I saw that one for it was like fifty three or something like that. Not bad feedback. Not bad feedback at all. But when I saw it, brush, I was like, man, 
vintage or any for 50 something bucks. Oh wow, that's good. Oh, that's real good. That's just all. I, I, I gotta get it. I just gotta get it. I could see where Matt Pasarsik, why you'd say it would be a good razor for a beginner. Up again. If it starts going too far out to the side, I'll just have my girlfriend um, nail it with my clippers after it comes in more. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and let's rinse off here and see where we're at. Our wipe off. All right. Not bad, not bad. Um, a little bit down here. bit right there. A little bit right here. Well, not bad guys, considering this went through damn near a week of growth. Yeah, that's that's slick. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off and I'll be back for the alum. All right, guys, go ahead and wet the elm. Not bad. Hmm. A little bit of feedback. But not bad, really. Hmm. I'm impressed. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off. I'll be back for the post. Smooth guys, really, really smooth. That's that's wow. Take a drink of beer, G Ranger Tech. Yeah, uh, I say it's not just a good beginner razor; it's a good razor for anybody that's collecting. All right, because it's really, really a cool razor, and it is a true tech. Um, well, not like a three-piece tech, but, um, it is considered a tech, and it's what the, third model razor that came out, that was twist to open, first one was the 34 Aristocrat, the second was the Senator slash Sheridan, and to my to my knowledge, the Ranger Tech next. 
All right, we're going to use some of this Gillette Cooling Aftershave Gel, or whatever it's called. I know it's Gillette, but there we go. Pardon me. wasn't wanting to come out because I'm almost out of it so when I squeeze it like it did the thing where it makes the funny little noise and then bunt shoots out like an old ketchup bottle but I'll pick some more up because I like it yeah wow I am really really smooth um, trouble spots aren't bad either this would probably be another razor I wouldn't be happy if I had to only use it for the rest of my life but I wouldn't complain much you know, a couple of years worth, but you know, um, but if that's all I had, it'd be fine. All right, now time for the aftershave, which is do -do 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 -do, skin bracer by Menon. Almost out of this, but I got a big bottle of it in my shave bin my shave cabinet a little bit of steam and then cooling I like that about skin bracer I mean, it's one of my favorite mass-produced aftershaves oh yeah Anyways, guys, that's the shave. Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me for this shave. Um, really had a good time doing it because of the razor I used. Um, but likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. My email address is in my about section. And if you do subscribe, please click all. When you select uh, what notifications you want, that way you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. Oops, sorry. And I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.